Have you ever wondered what goes into an award-worthy performance? I can't believe what you did. I can't believe what you had to do. Join us for exclusive access to Hollywood's inner circle as the most exciting actors working today discuss their art and craft. A lot of times in comedies, you're like the wife that's like, where are you going? Get back here. <laughs> With Jennifer Lawrence and Adam Sandler, Gary Oldman and Kate Winslet, Jake Gyllenhaal and Margot Robbie, Saoirse Ronan and Kristen Wiig, and Timothy Chalamet and Daniel Kaluuya. Welcome to Variety Studio Actors on Actors. I'm Janelle Riley. In the next hour, we'll spotlight some of the most buzzed about performances seen on film this year. First up, Jennifer Lawrence and Adam Sandler, two of Hollywood's most bankable stars. Then, decorated British actors Gary Oldman and Kate Winslet soar in prestige period dramas. Jake Gyllenhaal and Margot Robbie shine in all-American biopics laced with threads of dark humor. Risk takers Saoirse Ronan and Kristen Wiig embrace contradiction. And finally, a pair who are being hailed for their debut starring roles, Timothy Chalamet and Daniel Kaluuya. In two films about the intersection of male narcissism and artistic creation, Jennifer Lawrence and Adam Sandler both anchor their roles with an approachable, down-to-earth sensibility. In the incendiary psychological thriller Mother, Academy Award winner Jennifer Lawrence infuses her character with warmth and exuberance, even as her on-screen home is besieged by an onslaught of unwelcome guests. How's your hand? Oh. Still stinging. I'm sorry. It's not like it was your fault. You don't have any painkillers, do you? Are you telling me the truth? I really don't have any, I'm sorry. Okay. Adam Sandler's momentous performance in the Meyerowitz stories New and Selected represents a triumphant revival for the comedy giant. As a neurotic New Yorker struggling to see his beloved daughter off to college while also attempting to reconnect with his estranged father, Sandler is raw and emotional, yet subtly shaded. I don't know. We've lived here for years. You haven't. This is where Matthew grew up. You lived in Queens with your mother. It's a Meyerowitz tradition, this house. Well, I guess I wouldn't know about that. I didn't mean it like that. So how did Meyerowitz, <laughs> how did you become a part of that? that project? Was, Why did they hire you? I don't know. <laughs> right? That's a good one, Jen. Uh, what happened was, there's so many ways that I think this happened, but you know Ben Stiller, the actor? Yes, I've heard of him. He's, he's been in many movies. Well, I know Ben a long time, and I said, well, we gotta do a movie together, man. He said, yes, yes. And I said, we should play brothers. I always hear that I look like you, and you, and he said he hear people scream Zohan at him and stuff. So uh, anyways, we said we should do a movie as brothers, and then, we, and then Noah Baumbach, was saying he had a movie, uh, coincidentally, about us playing brothers, so we all hung out one afternoon and then talked about it, and then Noah wrote the movie. I don't know how the hell he did oh, that. Oh, he wrote the movie after, after, after meeting with you? Yeah, and yeah, he, like we discussed some stuff, we discussed some, uh, uh, yeah, all our parents were in hospitals, and we talked about how bad that is and how bad that goes, and just talked about different things, and then, uh, Noah went away and wrote the movie. And How long did that take from? I, I would say within a, within eight months or a year. Oh my God. I think, I wow. think. And, and it was just incredible. I couldn't believe it, reading it and I loved it. Oh, and it's amazing. The dialogue's fantastic. The exactly. Relationship, that's what I'm surprised about. The characters yeah, my are God. so well-rounded. Everybody's deep, character, right. yes, yes. Each person. How about you? How about Mother? How did that happen? Uh, well, I heard that Darren was making a movie, um, and I've always wanted to work with him. I've been a yes. big fan for a really long time. Yeah, yeah. And then he came to Atlanta, and he didn't have a script yet. He just had like these ideas and these. I don't know. He just told me. He told me these like weird ideas that were floating through his head and themes, but not really any narrative. It was just themes, and I thought it was amazing. And I trusted him. If he's got like some bombastic idea, like writing God as a narcissistic artist, uh -huh. it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. So I was in before I read anything. You're acting in that movie. I could. I can't believe what you did. I can't believe what you had to do. Because if I uh, if I was going to work every day shooting that movie, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I could handle it. 